Here's how you can install Iguana on a Windows server following our best practices. First, head over to dl.interfaceware.com to download the latest version uh, of Iguana. And since this will be a manual installation, I'll be clicking the No Installer. Once you have the downloaded file, you can extract the content. In this case, I'll just be extracting it into my C drive and in program files. One thing to note is to always use an account with local administrator privileges. So in my file directory, I did create a separate folder for Iguana. I will then create a separate folder within this folder for my Iguana configuration files. It's important to keep the configuration files separate from your installation files because it does make future upgrades and migrations easier. I'll call it my working directory. Next, I'll click into the Iguana installation files to open up the Iguana service.hdf file. Here, I'll just be updating the command line to point to the path of the working directory, and I will also be updating the service display name to the version of Iguana I'm running. and then save. We can then go ahead and open up the command prompt in administrator mode. We'll CD into the directory where the Iguana executable lives. And then we'll type the following command. Iguana run, also adding in the path of the working directory. Since I already have another Iguana instance running on the server, the default port 6543 is already taken. So I will need to change that by opening up the Iguana configuration.xml file and updating it to a, another port number that is available. So let's try six. It's Once that is saved, we can go back to the command prompt and rerun that command. Once the main event loop is running, we can head over to your uh, Google and check if the Iguana login page is all set and the license page does come up. Now we can actually go ahead and install Iguana as a service. So we can actually go back to the command prompt, stop the command and type Iguana underscore service, install.
Now that the service is installed, we can actually go back to your services. And start the service. Once that's all set, you can go ahead and license your iguana.